Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another solo leveling arise video. And guys, we have some big news. We have some big news which is way more than update. That is a developer's handbook. And if you haven't uh, played Netmarble games before, let me tell you that in Netmarble, developer's note meet, ne developer's note means something bigger, something really really big. And let's get into it guys and talk about it. And as you can see the character in my screen she is going to be the upcoming character guys she is going to be the upcoming character she is going to be a magic ice damage dealer so let's talk about some other updates too and they have also released uh, a, a trailer so let me take you to the browser guys and wait we have this developer note cold blooded ice queen coming the cold blooded ice queen thing is already telling half of the story that we are going to have a ice damage dealer so let's see what are the details because actually there is more there is a lot more things going on so it has already been two weeks since we started our journey with our hunters uh today we are here to express gratitude nice we are happy now new content first of all battlefield of chaos first we would like to introduce battlefield of chaos and new content that will bring new excitement to our hunters and defense type dungeon it is going to be a defense type dungeon which hunters must defeat randomly appearing bosses consecutively that means what that means is going to be an endless game mode that means you can play for a long duration and your survivability will determine your rewards that means your character has to be very very strong i'm not sure how uh, useful it will be for the f2ps right now because uh F2Ps are still struggling in the game in most cases, but I believe that once we get stronger, this type of content is going to be really, really excited, exciting and very, very rewarding. And because they have kind of uh, added this new system, new gem system. What is this thing? If you have uh, played Netmarble games before, you will easily understand that this mechanism is nothing new. They will add a lot of lot of these sort of mechanisms to make these characters really strong and different type of stat increasing and of course this stat will also be related to some sort of RNG. So this thing is going to keep you busy for a long long time for sure that I can say from now and this thing is you will be able to get these gems, you will be able to farm these things in this chaos and I can already understand easily that Getting high quality gems is not going to be easy. You will have to be stronger. You have to get better rewards from this uh, mentioned uh, chaos dungeon. But I haven't watched it until now, guys. I haven't watched it. Wanted to watch it with you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I think... They should have done a little bit more work on the trailer because as Netmarble publishes trailer for their characters in different occasions because I have been playing Netmarble game for a long time they usually add some movesets of the character but this is probably going to be the special finishers type thing uh, not really too much is revealing from this trailer but whatever we are seeing is absolutely beautiful guys and what should I say guys I'm in love with her so I will never see anything bad about her I hope she is going to be a great character. I believe so. Magic Ice. We'll see that. Definitely, I'm going to pull her and she's going to be my first banner SSR character, guys. I am willing to make her at least three star, but let's see what happens. We are not done. Next, we are coming guild. They are arranging a guild system where we can join the guild and play together. Of course, there will be different type of rewards in the guilds. We'll see that how it is going to work and there is there is thing that bond this bond thing is going to be better if you are a part of a guild and as netmarble in netmarble games they prioritize their guilds very much guys i'll be honest with you try to uh communicate with people and arrange some guilds and try to get yourself in a guild as soon as possible because in this sort of games guild is one of the top priority and it will give you some valuable rewards for sure now next, we are having this workshop of brilliant light. What is even this? We are preparing a new content. Once again, a new content. God damn, bro. Workshop of brilliant light working uh, title to offer hunters another engaging gameplay experience 
workshop light, uh, bright brilliant light is a challenge type dungeon where various bosses will appear you will encounter powerful bosses once again powerful bosses once again more difficulties coming into the game at means at, at that at the same time they are telling you that hey make your character stronger summon again and again make them get make make your characters five star guys if you don't make five star you cannot play these game modes because the difficulty is so difficult uh, so difficult that is going to be the end story guys but in anyways i'm definitely excited for the new content look at this look at this Look at this. I mean, this is next level, guys. It's gonna be very difficult. For sure as hell. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Some, some, some. I think it's kind of improving the dodge mechanism also. Oh, my God. This is serious gameplay, bro. Of course, the gameplay is done by the devs, so the difficulty is, of course, adjusted or, or, or stats are adjusted or, or maybe he is a great player. But the point is, more difficulties coming to the game and that will be determining your pull decision. That will determine your character levels because maybe now we, you are thinking that I can get a character once, once from the banner. Two times from the banner, and that's good. Two star enough. You will soon find out that these dungeons, and these du these things, and these things, will require a very strong character and very high stats. That's that's the normal thing. So, but the developers are kind of supporting us too. Developers are kind of supporting us too. This is a great thing from the Net Marvel because this is something unique. They usually do this buffing of old characters after a long time. After several banners, couple of banners, but this is totally unusual that within the third week, they're kind of buffing this bike, you know, who's in Jewel, who's a free character, and also this silver main bike, you know, the, he's of course a very strong character, already second damage, highest damage dealer in the game, they're also buffing Li Bora, they're also buffing Huang Dong So, and Lim Tai Wu. basically most characters in the game, or all the characters in the game, of course, there are a couple of left and there is some confusion associated with it. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. So they're going to get buffed. We'll see that what type of buffs they're getting. Long story in short, each and every character is going to get some stat buffs. Some are getting this critical head damage buff. Some is getting this uh, super armor thing. Some is getting this uh, extra QTE skill. This one is getting super armor, imp uh, impulsive revenge, these sort of things guys going on. And uh, yeah, I mean, you understand that stats are going to increase. The following hunters and weapons are also scheduled for adjustment with changes aimed for enhancing guys. Notice this thing and don't get confused, guys. I saw many people in the forum are kind of really sad. They are saying that this Ma, Chi, uh, Min, Cha, Emma, Choi and Sio, these fighters are going to be nerfed. They are misunderstanding probably, but let me tell you why. The thing the developers said that they are going to change these fighters too, but they didn't really publish any images. But the changes are aimed to enhancing their stats, enhancing their balances. That means it is going to do better. I mean, they are not going to be nerfed. That I can understand from this reading. On top of that, if not nerfed, they are going to be made better. They are going to be made better. In this point, guys, no character is going to be nerfed. We got ga guys, you saw that what type of difficulty is coming. What type of things are coming? They are definitely going to not going to nerf this character because these upcoming character Alicia is going to be way stronger than the previous batch of characters. That is so normal in the Net Marble games, and usually they don't buff these old characters, as I told you that. But still, they're trying to balance because many people have kind of spent their resources, their energy, their money, everything behind these characters, and they kind of hoiled on these characters. Many people are there who have hoiled on, especially Cha. Now, of course, Netmarble is not going to break their heart for sure. Trust me, guys. So, these ch old characters are not going to be uh, nerfed. All of them are going to be buffed more or less. We'll see that how their buff is going to roll out because uh, they, they they kind of uh, they didn't really uh, explain that what type of buff they're going to give. Probably they're going to explain in some next notice. So, let's look forward to it, guys. So, in the conclusion, they're kind of thanking us and uh, said that we'll never forget all these thanks because 
there is a 20 million download celebration and 10 day check-in event guys 10 day check-in event it is insane let's see let's see what are these things uh this uh however of course released also on may 21 2024 and they are giving these check-in rewards oh my god look at this 10,000 golds custom draw ticket 10 daily login these you don't have to do a damn thing about it guys just simply log into the game enhance assistant 500 gold 100,000 essence or again, again gold essence gold essence gold guys guys gold is not going to be rare anymore probably because the amount of gold they are giving is so impressive so nothing more to say guys simply just lag uh, uh, you know simply just uh, come and log into the game every single day don't forget to do your dailies and stuff guys so these were the mostly rewarding things that's coming across our way and i'm totally really excited because the game has been released really uh, in, in recently and the developers are, are still so busy with different type of bug fixing but at the same time they are bringing some real changes in the game adding new game game modes improving the characters in, in real time very very impressive guys i told you that this game is totally moving to the to, to the right direction just give them some a little bit of time with the existing issues i totally believe netmarvel is putting top priority in this game and they are going to eventually fix every every issues guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and let me know what you think about the upcoming updates and soon i'll see you soon in some other videos till then stay awesome